Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me again. I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, this time I'm going to be reviewing 21 Bridges. Uh, once again, I'm going to give you guys my rating right up front. Uh, so I give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's got a 45% Rotten, Tom Rotten Tomatoes score uh, with an average of 5 out of 10. And then on the audience side, has a complete 180, 90% positive with a 4.4 .4 out of five stars. Uh, so just a summary of it, uh, I think there are some places in the movie where the plot kinda uh, seemed too convoluted for what they were trying to do and so they had to rush it together to make it simple. But all in all, it was very entertaining, uh, great pacing, uh, lots of action, strong acting, great cast. Uh, and it's really what you're looking for at this time of the year when you go to the movies. You know, it's not quite that big giant blockbuster, uh, but it's definitely something energetic, you know, uh, in line with the, the season and the time of year that it's coming out. So it's not competing with a bunch of, uh, you know, your big budget action thrillers or dramas or anything like that. Uh, it really is something that you'd expect around this time of year, and it really fits that what fits its role well. So I get a seven to five out of ten, seven point five out of ten. Uh, now to get into it a little bit more, uh, for those of you who don't know, the basic synopsis of the film is uh, two criminals. These are played by Taylor Kitsch and Stephen James, and uh, there's type of a drug bust gone or a drug deal gone wrong. Uh, they end up killing eight officers, you know, in their attempt to escape. Uh, and so to do this, the protagonist, Chadwick Boseman, uh, you might know him from films like uh, most prominently Black Panther. Uh, but uh, he plays this kind of super cop, uh, you know, more kind of in the lanes of like Dirty Harry. You know, he's a famed guy who catches cop killers and that type of thing. And his idea is... He finds out they're going to Manhattan, and so he has to. He tells everyone, "We're going to close all 21 bridges to Manhattan, put it on lockdown, and make sure they don't escape." Hence the name of the film, "21 Bridges." Uh, pretty simple, right? Pretty simple plot. Uh, not hard to understand what's going on here. Uh, so I, I did like that aspect of it. You know, uh, the audience knows uh, right from the beginning what's going on. Uh, who are the characters involved and you know, it, it's not something super convoluted or you know, that's made uh, Too kind of cerebral for no purpose uh, So, you know, it, it's easy getting into you know, when you're first sitting down watching the film uh, Action I thought was really good so that the gun scenes the chase scenes the action scenes I think they did a really good job. Uh, they're really well choreographed uh, you know, you're able to see everything. Uh, I don't, usually don't talk about this a lot, but lighting. Lighting is something that is important. Uh, I have seen films, I'm sure you have too, where uh, sometimes you can't really see what's going on. And it's not just the lighting, but the way they choreograph the sequences, you know, how they get the camera shots, the angles. And it's, you, you know, you don't, uh, you aren't able to see everything. Uh, which is kind of counterproductive <laughs> given the fact that you're watching a film. Uh, so I thought they did a really good job with that. Uh, you're always able to make out what's going, you know, what's happening, who's doing what, and, you know, they did a really good job of that. Um, one of the, uh, when, I, when I saw the film, uh, I knew, because I, I don't check the scores, uh, always before I go to see the film. Most times I do, but not all the time. Uh, I didn't check the scores before I went and saw this film. And after seeing it, this was one of those films I knew there was going to be a discrepancy between the audience and the critics. Uh, because even though the action and the plot I thought was uh, well, uh, they try to add another layer to the plot, you know, to try and make it so it's just not this generic vanilla thing, which, you know, I applaud, you know, I'm glad they did that, uh, but it seems like they introduced this other layer, this subtext to the whole film that wouldn't have been able to have been resolved and cleaned up and put a bow on it as nicely as it did. Uh, so it, it's like, 
I like the fact that they added another layer uh, to the film. You know, they, they added some more subtext. You know, they did some things to make the film a little deeper and, and not just this paint by the numbers, uh, catch and chase villain and heroes, you know, uh, cops and robbers type of thing. Uh, but in them adding this, I think what they added, you know, I don't, they're gonna do spoilers, but what they end up adding to the film, I think was maybe a little bit too complex for by the end of the film, uh, how it gets resolved. And it, and it just seems like it's just a little too neat, a little too on the nose. Uh, and so, and seeing that, and then seeing the strength of the cast, you know, when you, you're looking at who they have here with uh, Sienna Miller, Chadwick Boseman, uh, Taylor Kitsch, uh, Stephen James, uh, you know, and, and, and seeing this uh, group of people uh, and, you know, given this gritty action drama, uh, it, it kind of leaves you where you're, you know, as someone who appreciates film and it's going to look at film, uh, it, it kind of gives you uh, uh, expectations of more. You know, you, you want that deep plot. You know, you want to see uh, the actors challenged. You want to see, uh, you know, maybe there's a little bit of nuance in how they have to portray the roles or, you know, in the decisions they have to make. And it's in those moments where the film kind of falls flat, where it's, uh, you know, there's uh, not Chadwick Boseman, I think does a great job of acting uh, in all the films that I've seen him in. You know, I, I think he's, he's a great actor. Uh, he really puts emotion into it and, you know, it really displays on film. Uh, but this film, I, I didn't think, give, I, I didn't think feel, uh, it made as much use of his talents and the talents of the other actors as it could have. Uh, you know, if you're getting uh, this top-notch talent, you kind of expect, okay, well, you know, if you get somebody, you think about it in, in terms of a song, uh, if I've got someone that's got this great vocal range, okay, well, I don't want them uh, singing with, with just this kind of monotone or, or just within this this uh, range of vocals, okay. Let's hear, you know, the upper and lower ends of what they can do, uh, and so this film kind of falls into that. But that said, you know, that was me looking at it, you know, at, at, in a critic's eyes as a person who's seen all these types of films, and and like I say, who who sees fifty to seventy films a year in theaters, and then not even counting, you know, how many I see at home, but just from your average moviegoer's eyes. I looked at it, I was entertained throughout. I was having a good time. Uh, everybody, when I left the theater, uh, they were in good spirits, you know, like they'd seen a good movie, they enjoyed it. Uh, so when I saw the 90% score of that's how many audience members appreciated it, you know, I, I wasn't surprised at all. Uh, so like I said, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, I do think that you will enjoy this movie. Uh, it's definitely something that, like I said before, it fits in time, fits in the timeline of uh, what you expect this time of year. Uh, it's entertaining, something that you want to go see with your friends. Uh, you can even see it on, you know, a date type movie. Uh, it, it's good. It's uh, what you call a solid movie. Uh, you know, it's not something that ten years from now you're gonna remember. Oh wow, that fantastic movie! Uh, but it's. Uh, definitely not something that you're going to be like, oh, I wasted my time or I blew my money. Uh, you will walk away happy knowing and enjoying, hey, that was a good movie. You know, I'm glad for having done it. Maybe not making the whole event of the day about that movie, but you will enjoy it. All right. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, that's my review for this one. Uh, once again, hit the like, subscribe button uh, if you like what you see. Uh, leave me a comment. Let you know what you think. Uh, if you disagree with me, if you're like, hey, I went and saw this movie based on what you said, and I did feel like I wasted my time. Okay, <laughs> uh, I can take it. Let me know what you think. I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, probably the next film uh, coming up, Thanksgiving's coming up. Uh, I am really excited about Knives Out. A uh, lot of hype about this film, so hopefully it lives up to the expectations. Most likely that will be my next review. Stick around, guys. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.